sixth week in ordinary time, eighteenth of February, Friday reflection. My dear friends, faith without action is dead. Of course, what is faith? If it is really faith, you completely rely on Him, and you you completely rely on Him. and you trust him so in faith of course you cannot see and understand everything but then you strongly believe believe that he is there so it faith is always active it's not passive if you simply if you say that i believe and i have faith and if you you cannot be stagnated that's that's exactly why james is writing to say that faith without action is dead so the words beautifully explains what could is it my brothers if someone says he has faith but does not have works can that faith save him of course uh, there were people who just who just said and limited the word faith only to words if it is faith it's a faith will uh, will presume that there is a relationship faith in faith you have to have a relationship and that faith should take you on a journey that's exactly what should happen in your life so in faith what happens and go so in, in you believe him you believe in him and believe in the word so it's a journey that's exactly why the lord is saying if anyone would come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me it it all it always there is a price to pay in following him to deny myself so what you have what you have you let go with faith and you take that step to follow him with faith and taking the cross with faith so in that journey cross is a must pain is part of our life so that's that's where the faith that's why you bear pain you that's why you take cross take up your cross and follow him because you believe in him and belief and love are connected if you love you will believe isn't it you will in you love and and with love that belief is strong so as i said it's a relationship it's a clear relationship so so it's in the relationship you believe in him and following him you follow the lord if you want to follow me the lord is saying today you have to take up your cross deny yourself and take up your cross so denying why you deny it's a it's a it's a action faith in action and taking the cross is action and following him is an is another action faith when it comes to faith it's always connected with an action you cannot limit the word faith to a word simply to a word and that's why the in the first reading we believe says if a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food and one of you says to them go in peace be warmed and filled without giving them a thing needed for the body what good is that i mean jesus never never did that so following him you you follow him you you take his footsteps you go in the journey that he went so faith cannot make you insensitive that faith faith in the lord faith in the lord 
will will direct you will lead you to be like another jesus and that's exactly why the word says but someone will say you have faith and i have works show me your faith apart from your works and i will show you my faith by my works my dear friends so it, you cannot separate it if you separate it, it's not faith and in faith you take a step in faith you journey in faith you let go in faith you bear the pain right now what you have to bear so it's a journey there's no other way so when you when you fear when you fear you try to protect yourself you have to face face your fears with faith face your fears with faith max lucado beautifully says in his in his book facing the giants so it's a it's a journey my dear friends that's why the lord is saying for whoever would save his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for my sake the gospel will save my sake and the gospels will save it for what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and profit for feed his soul or what can man give in return for his soul my dear friends that that is the journey that is the journey so it's the example of the example of abraham and we find in the first reading abraham sacrifices his son almost sacrifices his son with faith so he his faith was considered as righteousness so obedience in obedience he had faith in the father god and he he just obeyed completely in faith he he when he when the lord wanted to kill the son stab it with a dagger and he simply did that with faith beautifully says you believe that believe that god is one you do well even the demons believe and shudder do you want to show your do you want to be shown you foolish person that faith apart from works is useless for not abraham our father justified by works when he offered up his son isaac on the altar you see that faith was active among with his work along with his works and faith was completed by his works and scripture was fulfilled that says abraham believed god and it was continued to him counted to him as righteousness he was called a friend of god my dear friends so that's you believe have faith in the person of jesus christ that is the culmination of faith so you have faith with love hope and faith are connected and love is the most important cardinal virtue you love him when that love you begin to believe him our faith is connected to the person of jesus christ and that word of god word of the lord you believe if you want to follow me it's always connected to a person if you want to follow me take up your cross it's because of jesus i believe you lord and i love you lord in that love to believe it's not a problem that's how old testament um, incomplete law was made complete that faith was that faith was concentrated to the lord jesus christ and he becomes your friend he becomes your everything and you just believe and follow him so you deny yourself to be with him so you 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 let go of all your possession to have him that is the deepest way of having faith and acting in faith of course faith without action is dead then it is not faith of course 
you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless you.